Science is about discovery, and it's really driven by curiosity. What if we could create a digital twin of an athlete and use that to help an athlete avoid a hamstring tear before the Olympic trials? Or use it to help a girl in high school avoid an ACL injury in her soccer game? Heal muscle, tendon, ligament, and cartilage very rapidly and restore its function. That's really the dream, to enable people to live stronger, healthier, more fulfilling lives. The mission of the Wusai Human Performance Alliance is to discover the fundamental biological principles that govern human performance. The Alliance is a public-private partnership involving six institutions. Stanford University, Boston Children's Hospital, University of California, San Diego, University of Kansas, University of Oregon, and the Salk Institute for Biological Studies. Being athletic and understanding the value of athletics on human performance is something that we value as a family. And what has really surprised me is really the lack of advancements in the areas of healing and training regimens, largely due to underfunding in this space. When we noticed that there was a gap here, you know, we convened a number of luminaries in this field, and we brought them all together to really examine you know, what the biggest issues were. We have a group here of high-performing folks, and we're all in the same place, driving towards the same mission. I'm bringing the athlete perspective. What do people who are insanely fit and high-performing do, and what can we learn from them? Specifically, the University of Oregon will be focused on regenerative rehabilitation, and we're going to be using the Bowerman Sports Science Center as an innovation hub and applying some of the findings here directly to track and field athletes. One of the aspects of this initiative that I like is the Female Athlete Center. There really, really hasn't been any attention paid on making sure that there was equal representation. So much of research in medicine, and particularly in sports performance, has been based on men. We're addressing the needs of pediatric girls. We're looking at young women, master's athletes, and transgender female athletes as well. This work is so important as we see that women are staying active throughout their lifespan. Diversity is incredibly important to our ultimate success. Everybody's included, everybody's welcome. One of the things I've been excited about is the collaboration with UNESCO. UNESCO, it's the, in the United Nations system, is the institution that is dealing with education, culture, with science, and with sports to improve the well-being of people. All of us have this commitment to leverage the power of sports as one of the most important areas to advance. Almost all of what we know about human health is from studying disease. We want to flip that and study optimum human performance to discover these basic biological principles that enable human performance. Over time, I think we're going to get great researchers and we're going to have great dissemination of information because we are working together in a global way. We want to enable scientists throughout the world to build on the work that we're doing. Everybody jumps on. They want to be part of this. When we uncover principles that govern optimum performance, they're applicable to everyone. Open science is the way to do science. All of our discoveries, all of our software, all of our data will be freely available to everyone. This is something that hasn't been done with this thought power behind it. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It feels incredible because this is a real holistic approach. We're doing this in a moment where humanity is, is searching to rebuild itself. To understand human performance at a big scale with all these partners at all these institutions is really a dream come true.